Creating a more sustainable world. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 382. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet, and we're creating sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our July 19th, 2020 edition, and today's topic is creating a more sustainable world. And if we're creating self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability, we are creating a more sustainable world. It's what our project is all about. We want to create a world that meets the needs of everyone here. A sustainable planet will benefit all people and all life on this planet, and we think now is the time. If not us, who? If not now, when? We're the ones that we've been waiting for, and so... We're creating it. We're putting the time and energy into it. We've been at this process now for 10 years. We're a 100% volunteer team, and we're creating everything that you see happening in the background of this video here, and so much more than that. And our path to making it self-replicating is to demonstrate as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread its own. And we're doing that through open sourcing all the tools, the tutorials, and the do-it-yourself resources necessary to replicate everything that you see in this video and everything else that we've been designing, including the open source replication process itself. And so this is, our, this is how we see ourselves creating a more sustainable world within our lifetime, by taking the physical foundations of sustainability, combining them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, physical foundations, everybody knows those are food, energy, and housing. Combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And putting all those things together to demonstrate a way of life that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And open sourcing and free sharing all of that so that people can replicate it, change the things that they don't like, improve on the areas where they think they can improve on them. Hopefully they'll contribute their open source modifications and adaptations back to create another iteration of what we're doing so we can have even more open source selections for people. But really putting it out there so that people can replicate it in the way that you want to do it. Whatever way that looks like, whatever that is. And everything is designed to be modular so that it can be implemented as either the individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub designed to teach other people how to build teacher demonstration hubs too. And so by making this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrations attractive enough, we can create a more sustainable world, a totally sustainable world, uh, within our lifetime. Well, maybe not totally sustainable. But then again, I guess if the world is sustainable, then it is totally sustainable. Even if you have components that aren't sustainable, you could still have a totally sustainable planet as a whole while still working on those elements that could be improved. And so we're not seeking perfection, but we are seeking to create a totally sustainable world. And so creating a more sustainable world is a process of putting little pieces of sustainability together and having contribution by as many people as possible and achieving that tipping point of participation so that our planet is by definition sustainable. And so everything that we're creating is created with the consciousness, the idea that we want to do the best that we can for all life on this planet, for all people, for the highest good of all. And we want to make it enjoyable, attractive, demonstrated as successful enough so that other people want to get involved. And the more people that get involved, the closer we are to achieving our ultimate goal of global sustainability and a world that truly works for everybody. And we can do this within our lifetime. Our model, by making it self-replicating, if you imagine 50 people coming together and working together to build the initial, to start, to launch one community, and that team will grow to a couple thousand over the first 10 years of development. But starting with 50 people, and if those initial 50 people and what we're creating can motivate two more communities to start of just 50 people, or even less than 50 people, and if us and those two the next year could motivate four more, and if us combined could motivate eight the year after that, and 16 after that, and 32 after that, and 64, I and mean, if you complete, if you continue that replication process, you'd include the, the entire human population within 30 years. But we don't need to include the entire human population. 
We could positively impact the entire human population if only 5% of the entire human population were participating in something like what is it we're doing. We could create sufficient infrastructure to benefit everybody, to make a, an objective, measurable difference in all of the unsustainable practices that humanity is currently embracing. We could change that. We could create a new way of living, a better way of living that would better meet the needs of people, provide more free time, more things to do, a more fun and enjoyable way of life, more things to do with that free time and more free time to do those things. Inviting people of like mind, like values, shared vision to come together and create something really special. We can create heaven on earth. We can create a utopia. We can create a place. People are already doing this around the world. We want to open source that process and demonstrate that it's possible for anybody. Invite the world to participate. Come experience what it is that we're creating, be it the education program, the highest good economic models, the fulfilled living practices, the earth bag structures, straw bale structures, shipping container structures, the living models. Every aspect of it, open source and free shared so that people can come and see what it is we're doing participate in what it is that we're doing, and take it and replicate it if they want to. This is our idea for creating a more sustainable world, and our goal, and we believe that we're achieving this, is to create something for everybody by making it all modular, and thus the reason we've tackled all the different components, and we've made all the, all the different uh, elements of a sustainable civilization, the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the economic models, the stewardship models, the fulfilled living models, each one of those have made every single piece of that modular so that there is something for everybody. Because if everybody were just to take a little piece, or if just 5% of the population, as I already said, were to engage the complete model and to create self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs, we'd reach that tipping point faster than 30 years. And so we've set that 30 year goal we see it as realistic. We're going to create this. We are creating this. We're going to create a world that's sustainable for everybody, though. Establish a sustainable civilization and demonstrate that because we think that this is humanity's legacy. We're meant to be stewards of the planet. We're meant to take care of this earth and do what's right to create a world that works for everybody that benefits all life on this planet. Not to destroy it, to make it beautiful and amazing. And so we're supporting that. So that's what we're up to. Stick around. Check out the rest of the video here. Learn a little bit more about each of the components and the specifics. You watch another minute or so. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a Highest Good Network and Application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.